The psalmist said that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Does that mean that we are already perfect? Hi, this is Barry Phillips with 10 Minute Torah, day number three of the Torah portion, Kitisa, and we would almost have to chuckle and laugh because all of us know that eh, probably not there yet. A little more refining, a little more carving, a little more everything, and maybe we'll get there tomorrow. Let's go to the book of Shemot, or Exodus chapter number 31, begin with verse number one. Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Yehuda. And I filled him with the spirit of Elohim in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and in all work, to make designs for work in gold and silver and in bronze and in cutting stones for setting and in carving wood and to work in all work. The idea is that there is work to be done. There is the processing of taking raw materials that have been brought and turning them into that which is set apart. Likewise, our lives are a work in progress. We are raw materials. Some of us may be more raw than others at points, but Nonetheless, we're all really, in all reality, mud people, taken from the earth, from the mud of the earth, and what sets us apart is the fact that the breath of Elohim resides within us. That being understood, then, we should also understand that this mud needs refining. We're not talking about cosmetics here that cover up. We're looking at that which is actually in the formation of us. Our mind, it needs to be altered. Our will, it needs to be humbled. Our emotions, they need to be brought under authority lest they rule over us at times. And so this one, Bezalel, he has been given uh, a very, very daunting task, but yet it says that the Father has filled him with Bina, with Chachma, and with Dayat in the uh, in the Hebrew language, and a very deep rabbinical understanding, and we're not going to get into this today, but at the very depth, sowed level, the very deep levels of understanding, these three qualities are at the very top of the characteristics of Yah that are expressed to us. That is wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. There are other qualities that are expressed as well that are considered underneath or flowing out of those particular three. But in the first ways that Yah reveals himself, it's in these particular three qualities. So what we're hearing then is this one, Metzalel. He stands in the shadow of the Almighty, as his name suggests. And that is that as he stands in Yah's shadow, he is perceiving and hearing and understanding things that may not be permitted to the, the standard person in the camp or to the average person in the camp. And so Yah has filled him with this great ability. This speaks to us um, of the work of Yeshua. I want to go to the book of Ephesians, chapter number 2. And in verse 6 and following, it says, pertaining to Yeshua, he has raised us up together and made us to sit together in the heavenlies in Messiah Yeshua, who in order to, to, in order to show in the coming ages the exceeding riches of of his favor and kindness toward us in Messiah Yeshua. For by favor you have been saved through belief, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of Elohim. It is not by work, so that no one should boast. But then it says in verse 10, For we are his workmanship, created in Messiah Yeshua unto good works, which Elohim prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. This word here that is translated workmanship, the Greek word that is used here 
is also used in the Septuagint for the Hebrew word ma'ase, ma'ase. And the the word ma'ase gives us the idea of work that is done, work that has been completed, work that is finished or already established. A similar word is what is used here in Shemot chapter 31, uh, malacha. Malacha is a little different. It's not the work that has been done, but it is the work that is our business. It is our occupation. It is the work that we do. So uh, a craftsman, his his work, his malacha, is crafting things. The the uh, finished product is his ma'ase, that which he has completed. So we have two pictures here. One is that Yeshua, his job, his workmanship, or his, his occupation is his own people. We are the ones that he is working on, but we're also to become in him the finished product. He is faithful to continue the work until he is finished. He is going to finish the job. That means that you and I need to be then in his hand and under his carving and his working until the job is finished. Too often we want to say, that's good enough. That will work. That will do. I can take it from here. Oh, what a dangerous statement. No, we can't. It requires humility, allowing ourselves to be carved on. The the metals mentioned here, the silver and the gold and the bronze, they had to be broken down with heat until they become molten, and then they can be used either in the pouring into a mold or fabricating into a sheet so that it can be used as a covering, uh, an overlay of that that was already formed, the wood. The, the, uh, the carving of the wood had to be exact. The measuring of the wood had to be exact. The fitting of the wood had to be exact. We really don't like the exactness. We like to say, this is so close. This is better than what it was before. I made a statement here recently in social media that the greatest impediment to deliverance is improvement. We like things to be improved. And so when they're better, we like to say, well, that's good. I'll take it from here. Yah wants complete deliverance, not mere improvement. And the book of uh, 2 Corinthians Rashul is writing in chapter number three. In 1 Corinthians 3, he says, uh, verse 12, If anyone builds on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, and straw, each one's work shall be revealed, for the day shall show it up, because it is revealed by fire, and the fire shall prove the work of each one what sort it is. If anyone's work remains, which he has built on, he shall receive a reward. If anyone's work is burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, but but so as through fire. Yeshua's work is going to be a completed work, a refined work. And his work continues until we properly reflect him, until we properly share his image. But we also have things that we're working on. Uh, We are in need of being sanctified, set apart. But the word also says sanctify or set yourself apart. And so Yah is doing this work in me through Yeshua. He's perfecting. He's bringing to exactness. He's melting down. He's reflecting. He's going to be committed to the ultimate end result product of his own likeness. I have things I'm working on, but what I'm working on is going to be tested. Am I doing it with integrity? Am I doing it with urgency? Am I following through? There's a lot to work on. So it is with all of us. 
So work on it today. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, shalom.